Hello everyone and welcome back. Sarah and I are just about to head to duck camp. Sarah and I are about maybe 45 minutes from camp right now. We have to stop in this town up here and get groceries. Uh, my dad, he made it up to camp yesterday, uh, earlier in the day. Chris and Teresa are there. They made it uh, in the afternoon yesterday. Zachary, he's going to be coming up. He said he would, thought he could be up here by 2 or 3 today. Uh, Johan, he usually comes up in the afternoon today. In a previous video, I said Melissa was going to come up, but she cannot make it now. And Samantha was going to come up with Zach, but she can't make it now. But anyways, most of the regular people are all going to be in camp. Okay, we got all the groceries in here. We have a full truck inside. Let's go to duck camp. stopped and talked to my brother Chris. He was just going off on one of the trails for grouse. This is his first time out, but it's starting to rain a little bit, so it's going to be kind of a wet walk. Teresa bought those signs so people slow down. Oh, smart! Yeah. Well, there's my dad's camp. Looks just like how it did almost when we left it. Yeah, yeah last year. Oh, still have some wood in the pile too. Awesome. Must have been some storms that came through. There's some trees that are have fallen down and not that long ago. Oh, there's my dad. We 
decided we'd have to wait a minute here. <laughs> We're definitely going to have to start the wood stove to dry things out. It's still raining, but we're going to try to get the shell of it up here. You're just going to put it in. You want to hold this here, and I will go get my hammer and we'll put the one stick in. And then we'll just set the middle part up. We'll have a Awesome. Yep, I just light that and let it burn one of them fake logs for now. I got another one, just use it for kindling, but batteries for both of them. So those batteries in there have been in there for two years. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. out by these two things okay so we don't trip on them yeah and yeah we should be good man i haven't made a hot dog stick in like oh. 15 years <laughs> If you guys don't know the story of the lamp, I do have a video on it. My grandfather used to come up here every year to duck camp, and once he passed away, I light this lamp and have it burn the whole time during duck camp in memory of him. Remember what cooler they went in? Um, nope. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Our, with all of our decoys and duct tape. Oh, yeah, you can go. Okay. Then so we're gonna, the first place we're going to go is to the 
Priestess Island and drop her off and and the old dog and the young dog. See the young one doesn't want to <laughs> and, uh, then I'm then then I'm gonna get into the my little boat <laughs> with with Hades, the middle dog, and go off to where I'm gonna <laughs> 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 And then, you know, then Yon has to come to the island so that he can drop the, my little boat off and all that stuff. That's going to be a complicated morning getting out there. Well, oh. it's, you know, and, like we practiced last weekend on the lake. Yeah. I bet it's 120 degrees in here. It's hot. Just a week earlier than it used to be? Or? Yeah. Yeah, it used to be like the first, sometimes it'd be the 7th of October, so, yeah, you like a week or ten the, was, was the first, that uh, added in October. So. Was it? Yeah. But, but still, it, 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 has, it depends on calendar, you know. It, 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 right. So it would be the 7th. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so. But back then, too, though, sometimes you could have snow. Yeah. You know, See, or, I or rem hard ice. remember we <laughs> really had snow and... My uncle who was up there, I don't remember, Leroy, and he, um, they, he had his own, you know, they had a tent, and they dig it up, they had drank a lot, and <laughs> the, the, no, no, it paid part of it in on them. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember ever having snow up there. I was, I was a, oh yeah, we were up, oh yeah, that was not open, I don't, yep, I do remember it snowing snow flurries out there and stuff and I remember the bay being ice. I would be so worried when I went to bed yeah, that it yeah. was going to freeze and all the teal would be gone. Oh. You know? Because that was the only thing that would land. That always, so yeah. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> yeah, because the, the, there was always, you could hear them all the time in there. Yeah, yeah. The, the night time, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, board. yeah, I still had four boxes of shells from last year for steel shots, so I didn't even... windows if there's because oh. there should be an airspace on some of them oh yeah hopefully well it probably won't rain anymore but uh, <laughs> if it does we're not worried about it Definitely a lot different than last year. Last year there was hardly no rice, and this year it's thick. The point is just to the kind of the left of Sarah's head over there. And then we do have some open water right here so we can throw out a few decoys. It's actually always open right here. And then on the other side of the point, a little bit to the left, there was a little bit of an opening, kind of a dirty opening. We're gonna throw a couple in there. 
But otherwise, look at that. That is all tall rice. And the little channel that goes through is closer to the trees on the other side and the ducks like to stay above the water. I just watched two right there going right over the water so it'll make it tougher for shooting. Here comes five right now. Here they come. There we go. Those are ringbills. Look at all the rice in the canoe just from coming across here. I just picked a ton off of my water. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be awesome tomorrow. There went one right there. I tell you one thing, when we shoot them, you better make sure they're dead because and why and mark where they're at because we're not going to see them. No, we're going to have an awful time trying to find them. And, and if they can dive, like, they're just gone. Right, we'll never see them. It's not a big deal for me. I always shoot them dead, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're there like all rebuilt. Yeah, they are. I haven't seen any wood ducks, just ringbills. No teal, no mallard. Nope. We used to when I was younger. Really? We'd see a lot more mallards. But remember, now the season is, starts like a full week, week and a half early. Yeah. So. I feel like mallards will come down a little later because they're bigger. You know? You're right. Here comes two coming right behind. Those are woodies there. Let's take and pull the uh, canoe right up into the point so we can see just how bad we can or can't see. Okay. So what Sarah and I are going to do is see how we're parted between those cattails. That's kind of a floating little thing. Last year, if you can remember, I had to pull it against the boat and try to tie it to the boat. So we're going to pull through so that's in the center of the canoe. Front of the canoe will stick out that side and actually the back. I'll go in the back and Sarah will be up here. And then, I mean, we're kind of in the open, but not. Look at this. So, we'll be just fine. There's wild rice hanging off of the camera right now. Uh, the life jackets here? Yeah, we can. Yep. So Zach is just going to be, oh yeah, there he is. He's going to be hunting in his kayak this year. Sarah's going to be with me. And his kayak was sitting there, so he's definitely here. We just seen him walk across the road up there with uh, my dad. Hey Zach, we've seen your boat down there. Yeah, yeah, I just What's showed up right? the did, did, did. Oh, I see. Part. There's even a... Yeah, I think that's something. Well, I, there's it. an outlet, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be nice, and then it's still at the same time, then it looks like it's going to rain. <laughs> they must have added a tower in here, BB, because I don't have no problem hauling anything. Mine is better, too. I can send I mean, it's not a lot. Of, I get one bar, but I get good 4G, so... Yeah. They must have did something, cause yeah. It's I. Uh, just... You got a little gas heater for in there? Yeah, I just got yeah. the buddy. That's all you'll need, I think. I don't think it's gonna be too bad. It was saying like 45 or something at night. That's not terrible. No. I think longer than the last one. The last one wasn't. You have like this side is open. But all the other three are... Well, Zachary and Sarah are going out to canoe out to where Zach's going to sit tomorrow. Since he's using the kayak, I think they're just going to take my canoe out there. I mean, if you don't have a spot picked out today, when it's light out and with that rice, you'll never be able to... When you go out in the morning, you know, because, you know, I leave here at, what, 4, 4, 4.30, whatever, to head out there. And it's, you know, pitch black out. And you've got your headlamp on, and the rice is so high that the headlamp just shines forward onto the rice. You can't see anything beyond the rice. For me, I go out the river, and there's a point of land that comes out. 
And if I just follow that, just like we went out today, and then there's one, there's two pine trees that stick above all the other trees way back behind, I always head for the one on the right, and that'll bring me basically right to my point where I'm gonna sit. Yep. They're all screwed. Did you, did you see a Kravis blow out a alcohol for the woods? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> and this one takes a different kind of mantle, but this is my favorite lantern. The thing burns forever, and it's quite bright for a single. Yeah, and I always yeah, hang this one out there. Yeah. And this is one I'll leave on when I leave in the morning. bunch of these I have have cracked globes on it but um, and I mean I have a lantern in there that's never even been used yet uh, but I did look for them but with the whole virus crap going on right now not everything is stocked with what you need and I mean I have plenty for what I need right now but I would have liked to replace a couple of these I brought this heater up for when we just want a little bit of warmth in the morning when we don't have to dry anything out. We don't have to crank that thing up and get so hot. Yeah, those batteries were just about totally dead in there. <laughs> Is it like working way better now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's way better. It was hardly, well, it was going before, but it wasn't like that. No. Yeah, so now we got two of them in there. That's good. Yours is in the green case. All right. Got a few things drying out by the fire here. Sarah and I are going to jump in the truck and run down and walk one of the grouse trails. See if we can jump anything. We didn't jump anything on that trail. There's one more up here, we'll give it a try. It's already six o'clock at night. Just walking down this trail and look at right here. 
somebody has harvested that at one time, but chaga. Well, Sarah and I walked some pretty nice trails and did not jump one bird. Within the next couple of weeks or, mo or the next few weeks, yeah, everything changes and then we start getting the uh, air from Canada and that's when things start cooling down. Uh, By the end of next week it sounds like it's going to be pretty chilly. Like in the 50s or something. Yeah. yeah. Just grab it and stand over her while she cooks. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it really isn't that cool at all. Yeah. yeah. 
quarter of the way up and it started pouring. Did you find what the temperature was supposed to be tomorrow? Uh, I have a look it up. I'm going to pull it the car down. This is mine. Is yours on the other side of the tree? Uh, no, mine should still be here. Unless it's just about. What's that? Okay. Okay, everyone, we got most of the things packed up for tomorrow. Shutting the lights down, it's 10 o'clock. Alarm is set for four o'clock. It's time for bed. It was too warm. I ended up sleeping on top of my... It was warm, yeah. Mm. Sarah? Sarah? It's 4.15. It's time to wake up. I think I woke up for two vehicles driving on this road. Did you? It's been so yeah. yeah, I heard one when I... Well, I woke up to my alarm at 4. You know. I don't think we're going to need anything like for warm for your hands, really, you know. I do have bug spray. <laughs> Sarah? It's almost 4.30. It's time to get up. Did I hear movement in there? I don't think we did. It ain't talking. <laughs> Are you awake? Yay. What? You ready to whack some ducks? Uh, Dense fog advisory. Oh, nice. <laughs> Most things are in the canoe. Go back and get my waders on. Sarah should be up by now. Time to get out to the duck blind. Sarah's awake, yay! <laughs> I have several well-placed obstacles for you this morning. <laughs> <laughs> the 4 a.m. obstacle. Yes.
Well, we're out to where we're going to sit. I think I put five or six decoys out in one little open patch over there. Now it's just an hour wait or so until shooting time. Yeah, Zach's in front and the one behind is a boat. I'm going to turn my light on so he knows where we're at. I sometimes think that when I'm out on the point, I'm like a lighthouse. <laughs> so you know where to have to turn. You actually kind of are, because like when me and Zach are going out, we're like, okay, there's Dad. <laughs> <This way. laughs> 27 minutes to shooting time. With all this rice, I might just only shoot ducks that will land in the boat. Back in. They, like, whip, like, right around. It's hard to see them with the rice. Yeah. That's got to be Zach, right? I hope so. It's a wood duck. That was a wood duck. Nice wood duck. It landed over there too. I totally thought it was a real. Oh no, that was a wood duck, yeah. <laughs> 
going way up there. There's three. See him? Yep. Oh, yeah, there's two there. Huh? It's got to be my dad, huh? It's got to be my dad. Yeah. Came up just what hit me in the head. Where? I didn't even see. Come like right here. <laughs> see. Was there like ten guys in that blind? <laughs> you hear them shoot? Oh, I know it. But I'm pretty sure it must be the ones on the end. They just like kill it. shooting up the river that means that those woodies though they come out and then they go over this way they haven't come in front of us it's funny how in a 15 minute span a thousand shells were fired probably up and down that Yep. And now dead quiet, you know. <laughs> the ducks are like, I'm getting the heck out of here. <laughs> you know what? I don't blame them. Right. <laughs> That had to be Zach. Well, that's what I should have had. <laughs> oh, yeah, I thought that one, I thought you'd drop that. Oh, well. Came right at me. What's that? So there's a coot somewhere over there. Yeah, I can hear it too. too far out but I had to try. <laughs> hey, maybe you would have got lucky. Never know. Maybe one BB would hit another BB and it would push it out there farther. There really hasn't been a ton of shooting out on the big lake. Mm -mm. There you 
you dumped one? You dumped one, right? What? You dumped one of them? Yeah. Yeah, mark where that is, because that's kind of out by those trees. So what do we have now? We got one that's dropped over here, yep. one that's dropped over there, and one that's like over here. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna have to give him crap about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Zach. See, I don't know, because if he's in the spot we were normally in, you really don't get to shoot him on the water hardly ever. Oh, there's two. Oh, yeah. And when I was doing that, it's like... We blew it on those two. There's one that was high. See how it's dumping down low? Oh, yep. Circling. There's one coming right at, right above the rice. See. see it? We went down too, over by Johan. How'd you do? I got three. Did you? Nice. We dumped three down too. We're looking for them now, but. There's one. What? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's a teal there. Oh, yeah. Two nice woodies and a teal. Awesome. The woodies were flying together and I shot them both. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> Big leg started shooting, so and I didn't have the thing because when I was looking before, you can mine this, oh, yeah. um, you know. So I wasn't sure exactly if that was right or not. But yeah, well, I heard I heard one of their dogs bark. You know, like there has to be something there. And then like a few minutes later, I heard the, sh the shot, and I'm like, how did that duck or whatever not jump when the dog barked? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. yeah, I know we had to wait for probably 15 minutes because they got. They were coming back with the boat, pulling the guy in the canoe, and um, something happened to their boat because they finally got it going after about 15 minutes, and they said, well, it should, what do you say, it should be good enough to get us back to camp. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I don't know what happened there. Huh. I was in, I got my sleep then at 10 or 6. Yep. So I'm just sitting there half sleeping, and 
You could look over the lake and the sun, that looks to me, and all of a sudden I'm right in the nest of me. All it goes, whoo! Oh, oh, right. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's four tot, tot, times. Hey, did, did you get any shooting in there? Yeah, yeah, I, I had you. those three, yeah, and I got two, maybe m more. Oh, I don't you know. Oh, yeah, so you just said the gun. Did they come in and the. Oh, for first there were two out there, and I put my binoculars on where I could see them. But they had to hurry up and go into short, short order, you know. Oh, yeah. And then the, these other ones come down and landed here, and I couldn't hardly see them, and all of a sudden I could see them. And, oh, yeah. And I shot it, and so I don't think they were jumping all over the end, so I don't know if they only got the two, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Well, at least you got some, so, yeah. yeah. And I think they'll be coming back pretty soon. They were, they were just sitting there. Chris said he isn't going to canoe all the way out to where he was this morning. It was way too hard to get through the rice. Uh -huh. But as we sat there, we watched ducks land right where he was sitting, over there. They oh, were yeah. going down. There was the, the flock and another yeah. one or two. He uh -huh. had the, his boat was so full with the three dogs and three so today. It must have sucked to drop them off wherever he had to paddle them to. Right. All that you could get it. They had the trail going well. Here. Gonna put it in right there, and yeah. You, know. you could have, but I don't. Don't have that many years to hunt. Just it's hard to walk out there. Then you know, oh. you, the drive that is so cool as you sit there and the dot the dot the dark. There's a you 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 something out there, you know. And right. Slowly, it gets a lighter and a lighter. Yeah. Uh, that's like deer hunting also. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. You know, the air hunt is a little more exciting, but but still, it's you, you know, you got my binoculars, you think you can see them, you put it on. And Well, I hit it out of the air. It was kind of coming towards my decoy. And then it just, you know, I hit it and it just kind of glided down into the rice. Took the canoe out there and looking around for it, looking around. And all of a sudden I see it like 10 feet away from me, just <laughs> looking at me, sitting there. Boom. I've got a smaller one here, I think, too, um, shorter than that, but okay. they work pretty good. Well, I am going to take off and do some grouse hunting because it's supposed to rain this afternoon and now the sun is gone. 
Zach and Sarah are cleaning ducks, and then I think those two might go grouse hunting themselves together. I think my dad might be taking a nap. Chris and Johan, I think they're out grouse hunting. I'm not sure if Teresa went with them or not. Oh, Zach's right here. I guess they finished cleaning the ducks, and now they're gonna try to figure out where they're gonna go. I'm gonna walk down this trail. I walked it last year and I got all the way back there just to see where I shot my first deer, my first buck. And if you guys remember that from my probably last year's video. And I ended up jumping some grouse back there and it doesn't look all that grousey so people don't go down this trail much. So I think I'll give it a try. Well, some of that looked really grousey in there but I did not jump one bird. I mean, I've been walking down some pretty nice looking trails and have yet to jump one. I didn't even jump one. And I thought I would. It was a perfect, perfect area and everything and nothing. I got a little bit more wood cut off. I found some nice, um, been dead for a long time, ash. This, that stuff burns for a long time. It gives a good bed of coals. Well, it just started to rain a little bit, so we're just getting stuff inside that we don't want to get wet. Really? Wow. Did you have that tarp? Oh uh, yeah, I added it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice if it rains out. Yeah. Well, but the only the that part is it's only got one chair. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have to thrift the doors are off. You, you, you can get that yeah. thing really mm -hmm. cheap for it. Yeah, you can. I don't know if those will turn out. 
Oh, the baked one. Oh, that's right. You have a hard time doing the baked ones, yeah, don't you? Yeah, and I even brought, brought a lot of stuff, an acorn. Uh, I was going to, I don't know why I didn't. Just five hundred and a half put four one. So oh, and cook it? Yeah. <laughs> Six feet. <laughs> no. I was over hanging out with Chris and Teresa and Johan. Figured I better come over and check the fire. Yep, came over. I'm like, I think it's time. <laughs> Man, these are big. Oh, those are some big sticks, aren't they? What do we get? Porterhouse, I think? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I like took it on the pack and popped it on there, and I was like, dang. Look like it's a porterhouse, so. Everybody's nice and dry. Yep. Oh, it's still raining out right now. You've just seen all the camps. My dad is in his tent with the heater going, talking to my mom on the phone. Sarah is over hanging out with Zach underneath the tarp. Chris and Teresa and Johan are inside their tent having dinner right now. Actually, this even though it's raining, you think that would be really crappy, but everybody has heaters. Everybody is, uh, it's probably one of the better nights. It's a really fun time. until dark usually you know okay everyone it's just about 10 o'clock all the other camps have went to sleep Sarah and I are gonna brush our teeth the alarm is set for four o'clock and we'll be back out in the duck boat tomorrow morning
Sarah? Sarah? Mm -hmm. It's 4 30. It's time to wake up. You awake? Yeah, I'm awake. All right. <laughs> Something kept waking me up between three and four. It was exactly three o'clock at the time. It was like flying away. Yeah. And then like three ten. And then, but then there was foil over here. They had chewed on the uh, paper towels. I think a box or something was here. So I like one o'clock. Of course, we should be by one o'clock here. There's like a sixty percent chance of. Being. Time to head out, huh? Well, I just heard a duck jump. We're just waiting out here to say good luck to Zach and then we're gonna jump into the rice and head for the point. Yeah, hopefully he won't sit up where you do. He was he came through yesterday. Oh he did, so he should know where. <clears throat> There's somebody I think sitting by the boat landing island on the other side. Oh yeah. And so I thought when he said that I was like, oh.
coming in this way. I don't think so. Two going in. I don't know if they'll come over. Let's see them. Look at Sarah. Above us to behind. Oh, man. At the sky busting. Oh, there's no way. Now you listen to everybody call right down the line. Oh, I know. These are looking down and saying, forget you. <laughs> like We're I'm not that stupid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I've been around the block a couple times. Right. Something coming. Okay. I don't know if that's a that's not a duck though. Straight above us, about a half a mile. <laughs> <laughs> thought about my shot. <laughs> okay, we gotta go get that one right now. Let's see, it's right to ours. That's a nice looking deal too. 
your light. Oh, and I'm like, I shouldn't see your light. Oh, that was him that was paddling. That's what I was yeah. wondering. I was like, and then I went out and back around way down there, and I went in, and I still had to cut through the rice to get further back. Really? And I was totally lost. Like I, I was like, where are these cattails? Like, it's just nothing but rice forever. And I finally seen the cattails. And I'm like, I'm just gonna follow them down. Oh yeah. And I found my spot. But <laughs> I'm so lost. It's wow. easy. It's really weird how you can get turned around in the dark like that. It really is. Well, it's time to switch back to the other camera, and it's time to break camp. to get those done, yeah. Let's see if you have a decent knife. Um, I'll need one. side right on the back seat there is a bag of garbage bags. Just as clean as when we got here. Uh, 
that. We need to put this on the roadside. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. It was another awesome first weekend of duck hunting up here at Duck Camp. See you guys on the next video.